let me get rid of this. This is the image I used to extrude the crane. The body of the crane is track mounted, hence the name crawler. These are counterweights that attach to the crane after it's in position. They hang off the back. The number of counterweights and the weight depends on the job requirements. This is the winch, this part of the winch system that hoists this or moves this boom up and down. This boom is used to unload the rest of the crane or unload the crane from the truck. The crane is able to just pivot in place and come off the side. That's why this is called a low, a low boy. The number of trucks used to deliver the crane depends on the project needs. Once the crawler is off the low boy, the counterweights are attached as the boom sections are added. This is the winch part that is, is raised. A cable goes from here up to the midsection of the crane. Each one of these horizontal boom sections are attached and this can either be lifted or jacked up into place so they can be bolted together. Notice that the assembly for the crane is horizontal. At the tip of the crane a jib is installed. This jib it articulates around this pivot point. We use that pivot point in the virtual model in order to adjust the position of the crane. Here's another view of that pivot point and you can see the jib extended and it dropped. This gives a reach out over the structure allows us to get to the actual elevator pit in this particular job. The advantage of the crawler crane is that it has this a very stable platform in order to move heavy loads. It doesn't require outriggers because these tracks actually extend out before or during its erection. Once in place, then the crane can move slowly along these tracks in order to reposition itself to drop the load.